Hello everyone, Cody here again with Scott's Nursery and today I'm going to be talking about propagation. First thing you should do before you propagate any plants is when the plants come with a tag you need to look on the front and the back and there will either be a patent number or a warning saying do not propagate plant. If you see any of those, then you're not allowed to propagate plants. A lot of the different ways you can propagate plants is through leaves, roots, stems, tubers like potatoes, or division in perennials. Uh, for today though, we're gener generally going to do stem cuttings because that's the easiest across all dicot plants. So for propagation at home, you can use hormone or water, and I'm going to discuss both of those with you today. So some tools you're going to need before you start propagating are 70% isopropyl alcohol, a pair of pruners or scissors, and make sure they're sharp. A container with water, or if you're using hormone with your media to plant in. A watering can or something to water into your media with. A work area. And for the hormone, you want to make sure you have that with you on hand. So propagating with water, you want to make sure you disinfect everything first really well. So I'm going to take my alcohol, I'm going to spray down my work area. And I'm going to spray down my pruners. Next, what you want to do is you want to take your cuttings. Make sure when you're taking your cuttings, you're taking them from the very tips of the stems. That's where the softest wood is and where the most cells are, so you'll get a better rooting result from that. And make sure that you're taking it from nodes. Nodes are where it holds all the growth. So if I was to take it at a node, that no the cells in the node might end up becoming leaves or stems or petioles, which are the stems to leaves. And then all you have to do after you do that, for water, just place it in your jar and you leave it there and you watch it for the root. It might root in a couple days and it might root in a couple of weeks. It all depends on what plant it is. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is you want to put it someplace warm but not in direct sun. Uh, putting it in direct sun will wilt the plant faster. So for hormone, you want to follow step one and two. You want to disinfect your area. You want to take your cutting. Once you have your cutting, you take just a little bit of hormone, never dip into the bottle because then you could be infecting all the hormone that is in there. And you just want to pour out a little bit. Then you want to take the end where you cut and you want to dip that in the hormone. Tap off the excess. Take your planting media, stick it in. Cover it just a little bit so that the cutting will stay in place. And then after that, all you have to do is water it. And then like again, like the one in water, you want to put it someplace warm but out of direct sunlight so it doesn't wilt. And the only case with this one is that you want to spray it whenever you see it dry. So because it's in the media, it doesn't have that constant water there to uptake like the one that's in the water or if you do cutting flowers. So it's going to dry out and that water is going to evaporate from the plant a lot faster. So just a couple of tips to finish you off. Your pruners should always be sharp. You never want to have a messy cut that's going to leave little chunks or strands. You want a fresh, clean cut. Store your hormone in the fridge. That way it'll keep, it'll keep the longevity of it. Also, there are different kinds of hormones uh, for different hardiness for different hardness of woods. Uh, this one's a number one for the softest wood and it goes up to a three, which is for the hardwood. I encourage you all at home to do your own cuttings and to experiment. If you have any questions, I encourage anyone to come to the Garden Center here at Scott's Nursery and ask any of our wonderful staff for help. Uh, if you have any questions, you can see us on Facebook and Instagram and check out scottsnursery.tv.